Hey YouTube and welcome back to another video and a brand new series. I thought that the last series I made did very good so I hope this one does as well or even better. I read all the comments and I found a comment down below that's gonna pop up in the screen right now. Because of this comment is the reason why I'm starting this brand new series so thank you to Not Purple for recommending this. So I hope this answers your questions and a lot of people's as well. This new series I'm starting is a all animals in the game series, meaning I'll show you how to get them and show you every animal by location in all the Rodeo Stampede game. Hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now let's get right in. I also want to take the time to shout out three people who commented down below Xmas in an Xmas Winter Festival event video uh, that I made around a month ago. So the three people will pop up in the screen. Before I start, I want to tell you guys that the game will show the count of animals as less than the actual number of animals per species because it doesn't include animals that you can purchase. After you purchase the animal or obtain it, it will turn into the updated and real number. So for example, if it says you can get 9 out of 9 buffaloes, it is possible that you can get 10 or maybe even 11 buffaloes. The reason why it doesn't show is because maybe those other 2 or 3 buffaloes you can only get by purchasing or another special event. The first buffalo in the game is a cape buffalo. And it's the first animal you ever get in the game because it is tamed in the tutorial. For that reason, it is found after 0 meters and is a class base animal. The second buffalo is the cape buffalo and it can be tamed and mated normally right after 150 meters. The water buffalo is the third buffalo and can be normally tamed and matched after 300 meters as well. The bison is the fourth buffalo in the game and can be normally tamed and mated after 600 meters. The Kerfuffles or Buffalo is the fifth buffalo and can be normally tamed and matched after a thousand meters. The sixth buffalo is the Dia Buffalo and if you guys want to know how to actually get this animal step by step and all other secret animals, watch my video on how to get all the secret animals by location in the description below. As you guys already know or by what I said you figured out, this animal is a secret animal and it's not completely easy to get unless you follow the instructions and know exactly how to get the end. The Bu Ferrari Buffalo is the seventh buffalo and can only be found after you upgrade your habitat to level nine. After upgrading your habitat, you can tame and mate it after 500 meters. Since it's a level nine animal, it is extremely rare to find and even to tame, so good luck. The eighth buffalo is the Buff the Magic Dragon, but it is an endangered animal. Endangered animals are one of the hardest animals to tame because not only are they hard to find when they do come out, but you have to be patient and wait till the day that Rodeo Stampede decides to put that specific animal on the game. There is only one endangered animal per day and they change every 24 hours to a new endangered animal. P.S. They put repeat animals, meaning if you already have the buff the magic dragon, it is possible for it to appear again even if you already tamed it just so you can mate it. So with that said, your chances of getting the buff the magic dragon are very low, so I wish you the best of luck. The ninth buffalo is the Buffalo BQ. It is an event animal and it was only available in two events. The third anniversary event that was from June to July 2019 and the fourth anniversary event, which was from June to July 2020. If you were able to get in one of those events, you can mate it but it will only appear after 300 meters. The tenth and last buffalo is the pumpkin buffalo. You can't tame this animal normally. You can only purchase it as part of a limited sale in the VIP exclusive bundle or VIP premium bundle. If you decide to purchase, you can then mate if you find the match, but the match will only appear after 300 meters.
The zebra is a base animal because it's the first zebra that you can get. And you can mate and tame this animal at any point in the game at the savannah, starting from 0 meters and ahead. The Brazeb zebra is the second zebra and can be normally tamed and mated after 600 meters. The Candicorn zebra is the third zebra and it can be easily tamed and mated after a thousand meters. The Punky zeb is the fourth zebra and can be normally tamed and mated as well but only after a thousand six hundred meters. The Electro zebra is the fifth zebra and it can be tamed and mated as well but only after two thousand one hundred meters. The Sig zebra is the Trojan zebra and you can only tame by doing a secret mission. After taming, you can mate this animal but will only appear after a thousand meters. The Legend of Zebra is the seventh zebra and is a level 9 animal because it can only be found after the you upgrade your habitat to level 9. After upgrading your habitat, you can tame and mate it after a thousand six hundred meters. After you tame the eighth zebra in the game, the Zegasis, its chance of appearing to mate is extremely low. Since it's an endangered animal and a tier 5 animal, it will appear on a certain day but very rarely and never before a thousand meat. The Kirin is the ninth zebra in the game. It is an event animal and it was only available in 5 events. The Chinese New Year event from February to March 2018, the secondary anniversary event from June to July 2018, the Chinese New Year event of February 2019, the third anniversary event from June to July of 2019 and lastly the fourth anniversary event from June to July of 2020. Its match will appear only after a thousand meet. The merry go around is the 10th zebra. It is an event animal and it was only available in four events. The children's festival of June 2018, the second anniversary event of June to July of 2018, the third anniversary event of June to July of 2019 and the fourth anniversary event from June to July of 2020. You can mate but the match will only appear after a thousand meters. You can't tame the Z Lightning normally. You can only purchase it as a part of a limited sale in the VIP exclusive bundle or VIP premium bundle or VIP privilege bundle. If you do find the match you can mate it but only appears after 2100 meters. And this concludes all the zebras of the game with the last one being the 11th zebra. The ostrich is a base animal because it's the first ostrich you can get. You can mate and tame this animal at any point in the game starting from 0 meters. The celebrity is a second ostrich and can be normally tamed and mated after 200 meters. The glam rockstrich is a third ostrich and can be normally tamed and matched after 750 meters. The ostrich chevalier is a fourth ostrich and can be normally tamed and mated after 1000 meters. The ostrich of hearts is the fifth ostrich and can be normally tamed and mated as well, but only after 1800 meters. The bostrich is the sixth ostrich and is a boss animal. So before you tame it, you have to do a boss mission. And if you want a match, it will only appear after 1800 meters. The mostrich is the seventh ostrich and is a level nine animal because it can only be found after you upgrade your habitat to level nine. After upgrading your habitat, you can now tame and mate it, but only after a thousand meters. The Oswich is the eighth ostrich and can be normally tamed and mated after a thousand meters. The Kung Fu ostrich is the ninth ostrich in the game and it is an event animal and it was only available in five events. The Chinese New Year's event from February to March in 2018, the second anniversary event from June to July of 2018, the Chinese New Year's event of 2019 in February, the third anniversary event from June to July of 2019, and the fourth anniversary event from June to July of 2020. If you were able to get it in one of these events, you can find the match, but it will only appear after 750 meters. 
The Holiday Ostrich is the 10th ostrich. It is an event animal and it was only available in two events. The Chinese New Year's event from January to February of 2020 and the 4th anniversary event from June to July of 2020. You can only find the match after a thousand meters and it is really rare to find one. The 11th and last ostrich is a Snow Queen which could have only been obtained if you entered the Savannah Design Contest event on the 15th of September to the 15th of October of 2020 if you're on Android or the 22nd of September to the 22nd of October of 2020 if you're on iOS. To claim the Snow Queen, you have to claim from KT Play Inbox within one month of the starting event date. It does have a match, but it will appear randomly, but very rarely, and never before a thousand meters. I stopped playing Rodeo Stampede for a while, so I missed out on this opportunity, but hopefully they will give us who missed out an opportunity to be able to get it again. So stay in the lookout. The African elephant is a base animal because it's the first elephant you get. You can mate and tame this animal at any point in the game in the savanna, just like the zebra. The mammoth is the second elephant and can be normally tamed and mated after 200. The earl of Fent is the third elephant and can be normally tamed and matched after 500 meters. The psychedelephant elephant is the fourth elephant and can be normally tamed and mated after 1000 meters. The tutti Fent is the fifth elephant and can be normally tamed and matched after 1,500 meters. The sixth elephant in the game is a boss animal, and I got other boss animals. To tame the skeleton, you have to complete a mini game or mini quest called a boss mission. After you tame this animal, you can mate it normally if you find it in a match, but it only appears after 1,500 meters. To get the boss missions, all you have to do is complete as many missions as you can and after a certain amount of completed missions they will reward you with a special boss mission at random. PS, the mission rule which gives you unlimited missions is extremely recommended for this. PPS, the only way to get the mission mule is by purchasing it for $6. The fire hydrophant is a 7th elephant and is a level 9 because it can only be found after you upgrade your habitat to level 9. After upgrading your habitat, you can tame and mate it after a thousand meters. The Jellophant elephant is the eighth elephant and can be normally tamed and mated, but only after a thousand meters. The Blessing elephant is the ninth elephant in the game. It is an event animal and it was only available in five events. The Chinese New Year's event up from February to March 2018, the second anniversary event from June to July of 2018, the Chinese New Year's event in February 2019, the third anniversary event from June to July of 2019, and the fourth anniversary event from June to July of 2020. The Blessing Elephant Mate can only be found after 500 meters. Santa's Big Helper is the 10th elephant in the game. It is an event animal and it was only available in three events. The Winter Holiday Event in December 2019, the fourth anniversary event, from June to July of 2020 and winter holiday event from December to January of 2020. Santa's Big Helper's match can only be found after 500 meters as well. And lastly, the Elephant Nibble can only be purchased as a part of the exclusive Cowboy Pack 1 and it cannot be mated, so it doesn't have an animal baby or sidekick. This is the 11th elephant in the game and the only one that I personally don't have.
And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you're excited about this new series. If it was helpful, I would appreciate if you like, shared, subscribe, and most importantly, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out any future videos on this series. I wish you guys the best of luck and comment down below if you're missing any animals from the savannah. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. And Mamita's out. Peace.